Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back. Today I have another art journal video for this week and it's going to be a really colorful one. Now here is a box of happiness. This is the new collection by Art by Marlene. The collection is packed with new stamps. There are also washi tapes, stickers and even a, a new art journal book as well as watercolors. I'm going to take you through all the new products quickly and then I'm going to make a page. So this is the new art journal book and uh, this is the second one in her collection, which is the small one. As you can see, it comes with an elastic uh, closure and it is ring bounded. There is a poly zip pocket to add your cutouts inside and there are uh, nice heavy watercolor pages. This is 300 GSM, which means that it's going to take water and any other uh, type of mediums beautifully and there are actually 30 pages in this book. In the new release there are also watercolors so let me take it out of the packaging here. They come in this little uh, tin pocket and um, it is perfect for traveling as you can see it has a fold out mixing tray and there are 12 colors in a tin. This is called bold and bright and the colors are just that and with the magic of uh, video editing, I just made a swatch of all the colors so you can see how bright they are. I like there is, uh, that there is one which is called bear skin that you can use for, your, for the faces. And uh, I think it is a lovely little tin that you can take with you anywhere you go. And for today's page, I'm going to use this palette for coloring. Now this is a sticker booklet. It comes with 20 different pages full of stickers, alphabets, and I'm going to browse through them so you can see what's included. Now the fun thing is that is everything black and white, and that's just because you can color it. This is a very thin sticker paper. It's going to blend nicely on top of your pages, and it's not glossy, which means that you can color on top of it and it will take uh, color beautifully. And I actually had to try it out for you, so I grabbed my watercolors and with a water brush I'm just applying color on one of the stickers there. And once this is ready, I'm going to try and peel it off. You can see that uh, the watercolor didn't uh, make a mess out of it. I'm going to grab one of the pages here, I'm just going to stick it there. And of course you can use any other type of medium on top of these uh, stickers instead of just using watercolors. Now I'm going to browse through them quickly. You can see that you get alphabets, you get lots of quotes. I love that they come in different fonts, bigger and smaller, and even more alphabets. Now Marlene in her previous collection has uh, tissue papers and she has uh, booklets with cutouts but she doesn't have washi tape. So here we go, washi tape to complete uh, the whole collection in two different um, packages, three of them in each package with gorgeous designs. And here they are all together so you can see all the designs. So now I'm going to show you quickly the stamps from this collection. So you get a couple of uh, hearts in the beautiful um, style of uh, Marlene. You can stamp them, cut them out and stick them on your pages. You get feathers. Now in this collection you also get many animal stamps such as these birds, the elephant and the crab. And she has released three new chubby cheeks for this collection. So a mermaid, a girl on a bike, as well as a girl doing yoga. Now she also released clear stamps. So this is the one with the numbers and uh, the alphabet, which are great for borders or for backgrounds. There are two stamp sets full of sentiments and uh, little doodles. I am showing you only one here. There is this one with the big flowers and the leaves, which are uh, perfect focal points for our journals. And the last one, which I am actually going to use today with all those houses at the beach. So let's put all those goodies into use and make an art journal. I'm working on one of the pages from the art journal book. And I'm going to apply some watercolor at the bottom of this page. I'm using Ocean from the color palette. I'm going to water it down a lot since I'm trying to create a sea. Now I like to add uh, layers on top of my pages so I'm going to sacrifice this page and I'm going to tear it making sure that I end up with a white edge at the top of my sea. 
I'm not going to throw away this scrap piece of paper, I will work on it later on for other parts of my page. There are actually 30 different pages on this book, so I can always sacrifice some of them. After all, I do add lots of dimension on my pages, so taking some out of the book is fine. Now I'm working with the watercolors on my actual page and I'm creating the sky as well as the sand. Now for the sky I mixed up two colors which are ocean and in the navy and for the sand I used bear skin. Now this is an art journal so I like to have things not looking super neat. I am going to add splashes like I always do and I'm going to use the same colors as the background for my splashes. So again I'm using blue for the sky as well as bare skin for the bottom. Some of the splashes might end up in a different area, that's totally fine. This is just an art journal so messy works perfectly for that. Now to add more interest on my background I'm going to use the other clear stamp set which comes with all those sentiments and quotes and uh, the little doodles. So I'm using the X's here and I will just stamp them all over the place. I will do all the stamping with archival ink and for the sky I'm going with cornflower blue. Now I will switch into a more vibrant color which is paradise teal and I will add some of those X's on top of my C. And finally for the sand I'm using sepia but I am doing second generation stamping just because this ink was so bright and it would overpower uh, the sand. Now I'm going to use some uh, white glue at the back of this piece and I'm going to stick it at the very bottom of my page and I'm using my white Nouveau glue to do so. So now I have a lovely layer at the bottom of my page and my background just got some ocean. Now I will move on and do some stamping so I'm placing one of those uh, houses on top of my page trying to decide where I want it to be and I'm going to stamp it with black archival ink. I'm using my stamping platform here because I need to have a good impression of all those little details around the house. I'm actually going to stamp the house one more time and I will color it separately, cut it out and stick it on top. And uh, however I'm not going to cut out the ladders and all the antennas and the stuff like that so I do have that on my actual page from the initial stamping. I want my houses to be bright and colorful so I'm going to use the watercolors from the palette and make sure that I mix them up. I'm going to add um, pretty much all the colors of the rainbow there. So I have started with oranges and uh, pinks, I will move on to yellows and uh, greens and I'm going to embrace the watercolor look so I will let the colors bleed in one another and this is going to create a beautiful outcome. So I'm going to put on some music and let you see how I colored all the houses and I'll catch you back once everything is ready. So my houses are ready now, I'm going to use my scissors to cut them out and I'm not going to cut out the ladder, I do have all the little details that I can't cut out with my scissors from the stamping that I did on my page. Now I'm going to use my white glue at the back and I'm going to stick it in place. The page is pretty much done at this stage, I'm not just going to embellish it with uh, different elements so I will use one of the washi tapes from the new collection. And I will add more in another area of my page later on. Now I will work on the quote for my page and I used the stickers. So I went with the one that says I was made for sunny days. This is a tribute to summer days that are over. I do get a lot of questions by the way about um, our uh, seasons here in Greece. If we have uh, winter or if we do enjoy 
autumn and the lovely colors of autumn. By the way, yes, we do. We do have all four seasons. We are just very known for our islands where people come during the summer. Now back to the quote, as you can see I used my scissors to cut out this sticker into pieces and make it work for my page. Now I'm going to add some details, for that I'm using my Dilutions markers, these are very fine markers with acrylic paint so it is going to go uh, opaque on top of uh, the other colors and it's going to show nicely. So I'm just going to fill in some areas like uh, the little hearts there or um, the banners tiny little details that add so much to a page. Now I'm going to use a black marker and I'm going to draw a border all around the edges of my page and you will see at the finished photos that I will use white uh, paint to color the outside border. This is a ranger marker by the way. I'm also using this marker to go all around the stickers to create a little border there. And now I'm going to add some highlights with my white marker and this is a thick Posca marker by the way. So here is the finished page as you can see I have uh, went all around the edges to add some white and I also added some washi tape strips or at the bottom of my page where the ocean is just to balance it up a little bit. My page is now back at the art journal book and here are some close-up photos. Oh, and notice that I added a heart coming out from the chimney. So I hope you had fun and you got inspired today. You will find links to everything I used down below in the description area, just like always. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.